bake. So this is what I have for breakfast every day. And I've been doing it for, well, since uh, basically a little over a year ago. About May will be two years. So um, it's been pretty consistent. I haven't missed one breakfast. So, so when I make this one, it actually is for um, three. So I'll actually have this for breakfast. I'll have it for um, about two or three o'clock snack. And then I'll have a small part of it for the, um, after maybe a ride uh, in the evening time. It's, that's just a smaller cup, but I'll actually fill up my entire uh, 30 ounce Yeti or similar, whatever cup you, you have. So I'll have two of these and then I'll have um, a glass cup. So that's about the amount that I make. Now, um, the amount of blueberries that I put in, I don't put in this many. I just make uh, this and rinse them off. Um, I always use fresh if I have them. Um, and sometimes I, I have raspberries in here, but normally I don't. This is just um, when I have uh, yogurt at night, I, I have these in my yogurt. That too. But the, here's the key. Um, I put, uh, for the amount that I make, um, I want ultimately, I want it to reach that seven cup mark. So I put about a four and a half um, cups of water. So that's just straight filtered water from my refrigerator. And now I'm gonna um, take my ice and I'm gonna fill it up to past seven cups. So uh, between seven and seven and a quarter or so cups. And that's gonna give me a nice icy um, feel. So the more water I put in, the less uh, ice it will be, but I like it to be icy. And um, what's neat about this is that I can actually make this and have this in the afternoon, uh, even if it's in my truck on a warm day in my Yeti, and it's still, you know, somewhat icy when I go to have it, in the, um, you know, a few hours later. All right, so you can see that's seven cups plus a little extra. But this is my favorite smoothie mix, protein mix. I love this stuff. So I generally speaking, I like the vanilla. The chocolate's good too. And I know, I know um, my family, they love chocolate. Uh, I'm a vanilla person myself, but since I'm the only one that really has this consistently, So I put six scoops in, okay? So two servings, I mean, one, one serving is two cups. All right. Now this stuff is uh, available, and I'll have a link for it. Um, getting it on Amazon is definitely the way to go. If you go into the store, some um, uh, nice uh, health food stores, they have this, but it's very expensive. So I go to either, um, Costco if they have it on sale or I go to Amazon. Uh, the thing about going to Costco is you get the bigger cup it, or container, it's 2.7 pounds and the one from Amazon is, it's two point, like one pound. So it's a little bit uh, less of a, you know, size. However, you, it's not as expensive. I think you get a pretty good deal on Amazon and you get a pretty good deal at Costco, especially with, when it's on sale. I do a Peloton ride. Um, you know, every couple of days, every other day. Um, it used to be I did one every day, um, but I don't do that anymore because I lost so much weight and um, I've gained, I've just, my metabolism is going so fast now. I can't, you know, if I do a ride like that, uh, I, I just, you know, it's amazing how much uh, your metabolism just burns calories. So I, I eat a lot of protein and I just eat a lot of food. And um, I went from 216 pounds. Now I'm just over 6'3". I'm not quite 6'4". Um, but can you imagine? Uh, I was 216 pounds. And um, last uh, um, August, I started riding my Peloton. So it's been a year, about a year and, you know, we'll call it a year and four months, right? Because it's, it's uh, January. So a year and four months, I've been riding my Peloton. And I started at 216 with having this breakfast uh, in May. I started in May and um, going to uh, no cereal in the morning, trying to cut out uh, some, you know, sugars and whatnot. But 
I still have sugars. Uh, I just don't have as many of them. And I just try to cut out my, um, you know, the too many, too many carbs. I still have, you know, a lot, but I don't have a, a ton. And uh, I went from 216 to 171 pounds. And um, it's amazing. Now I've never been real thick, so my body's not like a real thick type. I've always been thin, but um, it's crazy because I used to have a really big, pretty big gut. And once I started doing this, uh, th this helped quite a bit just by itself. I'm telling you, if you want to um, lose weight uh, and get healthier, this is a phenomenal choice because it's got a lot of good things in it. And once you combine that with, let's say, a Peloton or, you know, doing your own exercising, it's crazy. Once you start, I'm 47 and uh, for me to be able to do this, it's crazy. And it didn't take me very, much, very long at all. So I encourage uh, you, if you want to know like my workout routine with my, my Peloton, I'll let you know. But uh, plus I have a torn um, meniscus in one of my knees and uh, I used to not be able to squat, um, you know, at all without my knee locking up. But uh, I don't have that issue at all. So with no surgery, just riding the Peloton and, um, you know, strengthening my knees, I don't have any problem with my knees. Um, so it's a phenomenal thing. I used to have to wear a brace. Uh, if you look at some of my old uh, wood shop videos, you'll see me in a brace and you'll see I also have a gut. Well, it's completely different now. Okay, so this is uh, this is my, my, my um, setup here. So you could see I put in, um, this isn't a ton of uh, blueberries and that's for the entire, you know, three servings there. But also I'm going to add, uh, just add a small, you know, whatever size you have. Good, but if you're trying to cut out the sugars, it might be not so good to have um, a really, really super ripe banana. Um, but just a little bit ripe is okay. You know, like I said, I'm not really, I don't really care um, about that so much. All right, so I got that peeled magically. Um, now, when you make um, stuff here out of a, with a blender, the, this is pretty tough on the blender, right? I mean, this, so this Vitamix is the, um, this is the original Vitamix, the 5200. Um, I have two of them. I actually have one in my trailer. So when we go tr on a, a camping trips, I have it. Um, but this is a excellent blender. So uh, this is, um, you know, really getting pretty old now. And it's just like, I mean, the thing just purrs. Um, but when you have this, um, being mixed up like this, a lot of times you get, um, a little too much ice and it basically creates shavings in there and it just is hard to get it to come down all the way to start mixing. So if you hear me pulse this thing, you'll see what I'm talking about. What I do is I, is I try to get it to come down and then I stop the machine and let it settle a little bit. And then I kind of pulse the motor and get the um, stuff to mix better. If you don't do that, sometimes you'll just get it and it'll just stay up here. Um, and also what I don't, um, I don't use the um, tool that came with this to um, go through the top and mash. Uh, I use this to go through the hole in the top of my uh, Vitamix. So you'll see that in a second. Now it's gonna get pretty loud and I'm gonna try to do this with one hand. However, it's a little hard to do it with one hand, but I'm gonna try. Now it's important also to, I'm gonna start on low so it doesn't jerk up, but uh, keep your hand on this. mixed up right there now if you crank this up there might be enough water in here to mix it all but if you have too much ice what you'll end up with is like that and it won't come down here so what you do is you just pulse it but you do it faster and you'll blend it all And as it blends, you'll notice you might get some um, some protein mix stuck. There might be some protein mix stuck in there. 
That's why I like to use this to clean off the sides. I'll literally just open this up. I'll take a look at the inside. And what's nice about this, this one, I can get it in here. A lot of them you can't, they're, it's just, you know, they're too big. So I like this particular one and I have a couple, but this is a really good size. Uh, and then I'll just take the um, thing and just kind of scrape the uh, inside there. Now, sometimes I don't need to do this, but um, it depends on how high up I get. I think that normally it's not a problem. What's nice about this is that it's so, it, the motor is so nice and quiet, I mean it just hums. And for the most part it will stay stable, but I like to put pressure on it just because I don't want this to come loose as you're doing it. And I let it blend for about, you know, 40 seconds or so, and that's about it. And if you go real fast, you'll notice the, you'll build up an air bubble. If you stop it, you'll notice a bubble will rise up. And uh, it's pretty funny, actually. After over a year of using this daily, I've, um, I've gotten to be um, pretty good at this thing. Who would have thought um, mixing with a blender would actually, you know, involve some skill? Um, and then I just rinse this out and that's it. Okay, now here's the all-important... Uh, thing look at that thing oh man so you can see the amount that i put in there look at how high i am i'm literally at that the rim there so the um, amount that i put in there is pretty significant now um he'll we put some in this guy and then i'll put some in this little i call it a little shot glass because i think uh my wife likes to have that sometimes. And if she doesn't have it, I will drink it. So this will be my breakfast. This is gonna be lunch, or um, not, it's not lunch. Um, I don't have this for lunch. I have a normal lunch, but um, at about two o'clock or three o'clock. This just depends on the, um, the day. Um, now let me, w one note about these containers. Th these are 30 ounce. Um, this is a Yeti. This doesn't seem to be any different than the, um, the one I got at Walmart. They seem really similar and I can't tell you for sure if this is better than this one, but this was, uh, I got this for $5. Um, so versus, you know, whatever this cost, uh, 30 bucks or something. And remember I said two scoops is one serving. And uh, one serving has 21 grams of protein. And um, it's got uh, five grams of fiber. You can see right there. Four and a half grams of fat. And this is, just to, to look at this, it's a vegan, no soy. It's gluten-free, non-GMO. And this has the superfood, so it's got... Um, probiotics as well and this is a plant-based protein right organic but if you look at the um the ingredients it's pretty crazy but this has got just tons and tons of good stuff in it and i just love the taste of this stuff it is absolutely phenomenal uh, i i just love it our mid-morning snack about 10 o'clock i'll have a um <clears throat> protein bar that's made by this company. And I can't find it anywhere else but on Amazon. So uh, check that out as well. And I'll have a link for that. I love the peanut butter chocolate crunch. I mean, oh my God, it should be illegal. Um, and But I'll show you that as well in the uh, link there. All right. Well, I, um, I'm i getting you know hungry looking at this. So I'm going to go ahead and, and have this. So, uh, so this, just so you know, um, I, this lasts me for one um, full week. It's so basically it's seven, a little over seven days. Um, there is, 
In this particular one, there's 24 servings. And the price for this is not so bad um, at all. So check it out, uh, depending on whether or not you can get it on sale. Um, you know, it depends. Uh, I can get this for 24 bucks on sale at Costco or um, 30 bucks if it's not on sale. But in um, Amazon, it's, the price is a little different because again, the quantity is a little less. Um, so you, it might be just a touch less expensive. You might be getting a little less though. Well, let me know if you have any questions or uh, want to comment about this. Um, but I would love to hear feedback to see if you guys like it or, or what you think about it. I just thought I would show it to you. And let me know if you want me to show you my Peloton rides or which ones I like to, to do the best because I love doing Peloton rides. All right, thanks a lot. Bye-bye.